Hey everybody, this is Alan Fine, and I am here with Brian Abel, the Senior Vice President of Hotel Operations for Celebrity Cruises, and we are on Celebrity Apex, celebrating, and this is Insider Travel Report. We had a great walk through the ship with you, and we looked at the different stateroom classes. So what I'd love you to do is just to talk about them in terms of the improvements from uh, from beginning to end, from from um, edge to apex and beyond. Yeah. Beyond is, is a pun, <laughs> but it's, I meant it. Yeah. So here on Celebrity Apex, we have over 1,500 rooms. When we're at 100% capacity, that's uh, almost 3,000 guests. And we have many different types of staterooms on board. Um, the most popular and the, the one that we have the most of are, is called the Infinite Veranda. Right. And the Infinite Veranda is unique to Celebrity Edge and Celebrity Apex. We will have it on Celebrity Beyond too. And what makes in the Infinite Veranda so unique is that we took, we were able to take the balcony and turn the balcony into your stateroom when you wanted to. And all, also we made the stateroom part of the balcony. Because what we found out through our research is that on a typical cruise line, our guests only used the balcony, a traditional balcony, about 20% of the time. So we wanted to, you know. And they wanted more room in the bathroom. They wanted more room in, 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 in the actual room. So by being able to convert the balcony and make it part of the stateroom when you wanted it to, we were able to make the bathrooms bigger. We were able to put a king size bed in every room. We were able to add more storage, storage space as well. And when you want to still have your veranda and your balcony, you have it. But when you wanted more room inside, you have that. So too. you just open your room. And you have a balcony. Correct. Yeah. So it's great. It's the best of both worlds. Right, right. So that was on Edge. Yeah. And it's the same on Apex. Any changes on, on Beyond for that? Um, the big change on Beyond is that we're just adding more staterooms. So we're actually adding 175 more staterooms to Beyond because we're able to make it 20 meters longer. And we're actually adding one more deck. So by doing that, we're adding more staterooms. We're adding more suites. Um, so the Infinite Veranda, as I was saying, was, is the, um, the most popular type of stateroom. But then the next is we have Concierge Class, which is an infinite, infinite veranda with a few more perks. And then we also have Aqua Class. And what Aqua Class is, is really a stateroom category for our wellness um, guests. Guests who just are more into well-being. Uh, they have exclusive access to our blue the Blue Restaurant, which is um, a restaurant that we have what we call clean cuisine. Uh, they have access to the spa, and the spa on the ship and on, on edge is just breathtaking. The gym is amazing, awesome. too. The gym is beautiful. It's big. It's facing forward, so you have the best views of the sea. Um, and then after Aqua Class, we have what we call the retreat, and the retreat is for all of our suites. Um, and if you're in the, if you have a suite, you get access to the retreat, which is the retreat lounge the retreat sun deck, and your own restaurant called Lumine. And now the retreat has uh, evolved since Edge. Uh, the, re the retreat um, is evolving. There's now a bar. Um, for our eight, so, uh, so on Edge, the retreat was the first time we did it. It was a huge success. We have 12% of our staterooms are suites. So all those 12% of guests get access to the retreat. Um, and it was so successful, we made sure we put on an apex. And we added um, one more feature to the lounge. We made a bar for those guests. Um, and then um, beyond, we're actually making it almost twice the size. The, root, the, the retreat sun deck is now going to be two decks. We're adding whirlpools, jacuzzis. Um, and the Lumine restaurant is also um, bigger in size as well. So a lot to look forward to on Celebrity Beyond. All right, so now we've gone up to, uh, we, we've gone Aqua. And then what was next? After Aqua, so it's, it's the retreat. But within the retreat, we have different types of, of suites. The most basic suite is the Sky Suite, which is about 50% larger than our normal stateroom. And then after Sky Suite, we actually have the Celebrity Suite, and then the Royal Suite, then the Penthouse Suite, and then on top of that is the Edge Villas, which are two-story high villas um, on the top of the ship. And then the most biggest suite that we have, we have two of them, called the Iconic Suite. And what's really special about the Iconic Suite is that it's located right above the bridge. So we always tell our guests, if you book the Iconic Suite, you have a better view than even the captain. But on the other hand, when you work out, 
in the fitness room. You have a view, like the captain's. Yes. You can steer the ship while you're pedaling. <laughs> that, I haven't tried that yet, but um, we could talk to the captain. But, but the view is great. But the view them. is great, yeah. I mean, our gym is facing forward. The spa faces forward. So you have really 180 degree view of the ocean. If I, I, I'm not quoting you, but you basically said you can plan, you can plan, you can plan. But it isn't until you actually live in a room that you realize what's needed. And certainly luxury is in the details. Uh, what are some of the things you've discovered that a after all the planning, you go, oh, we have to do this now? Yeah. Well, you know, we've spent a lot of time designing the ships, working with our different type of interior designers on Celebrity Edge and Celebrity Apex. All the staterooms are designed with Kelly Hoppin, who's a very well-known designer out of the, the, the UK. Um, and we think about every little detail, you know, making sure the storage is good, uh, the TV is in the right place. But until the ship is built, and until you start like experiencing the rooms, and we try to do that ourselves, is go and experience the rooms. You know, you find little things. So, for example, um, in one of the rooms, we said, "Hey, we don't have an outlet nearby when you're sitting on the couch, and you want to do some work on your laptop." So we added more, you know, outlets. Same thing, uh, we wanted to make sure we had enough USB plugs because that's what everyone has. So we added more of those, you know, at the later stage in the, the, the design process. Um, even the TV in some of our bigger, bigger suites, like the Iconic Suite, we said, once we were in there, the TV is not big enough. You know, if you have the biggest suite, you need the biggest TV. So we added, you know, a bigger TV. So things like that. Yeah, but also the way you say it, it's like so easy. Yeah, we need some more plugs. We, but, but you have to you have to plan for it you have yeah. to re-plan for it yes no i mean some things we can change on the spot um other things we have to do for the next ship that we're designing so like on celebrity apex some of the learnings we took from edge we added it to apex like the plugs um you know the other thing that we found out on edge was not all the showers had fully closed doors that we had like a more open shower experience which is very normal in a land-based resort but when the ship is moving sometimes the water could splash around so we needed to add more shower doors um, so things like that again you know you learn you plan you plan you plan but once you're on the ship and experiencing it for yourself it's good and you know our mantra is continuous improvement right so edge was the first apex is a little bit better and beyond is going to take it to the next level okay so let's talk about how did how did the you, you guys are all about sustainability how did that affect these improvements um, I mean, a big focus for the industry, for the Royal Caribbean group, and of course for celebrity is around sustainability. Um, so, you know, there's things that our marine team is doing from a technical standpoint to make our ships more efficient, more fuel efficient, better for the environment, um, you know, smoother to sail on. Uh, but also in, in overall for the operation, we're doing a lot of things for sustainability. For example, we got rid of plastic bottles of water. So those are, you don't have any plastic bottles of water. Um, we don't have really any single use plastics, so to be more sustainable. Uh, we're doing a lot of work with our food and beverage team to make sure we're sourcing more sustainable uh, products and proteins from you know, uh, wild caught salmon to other fish, fish and even our meat to make sure we're doing the right thing. So a lot of things, um, but always sustainability and giving back to the environment. I mean, basically the ocean is our backyard and we have to make sure we do the right thing. The ice cream parlor is great and the flavors are great, but the sustainability I even noticed in my spoon, it wasn't plastic, it was bamboo, I think. It was some yeah. sort of a, a, a wood product. Yeah, I mean, we have um, gotten rid of 90% of our single-use plastics, like a plastic spoon and bamboo instead, or we have paper straws, we don't have plastic straws. So all those little things, those things add up, and um, it's all about giving back to the environment. Let's wrap up. Just uh, we're, we're going out to more than 90,000 travel advisors. What's your advice to them now? Uh, my advice is come back to cruising. It's, I think, one of the safest places to take a vacation. Um, we, we put the health and safety of our guests and their crew and the ports that we go to first. Um, and everyone is vaccinated, all the crew is vaccinated, and we have a great experience to provide. So over the last couple of months, 19 months that we've been out of service, yes, we've been focused on doing the right thing to make sure our ships were safe and healthy, but also we wanted to uh, elevate the guest experience. And that's what we're seeing from our guests. We have the highest guest ratings in the history of our company right now. So come back, it's safe, you're gonna have a great experience, and we're ready to serve you. Brian, thanks for talking to us. Thank you.
and this is Alan Fine for Insider Travel Report.